this has the box, doesn't do this stuff, huh? We are tidying up the Elwood Hotel because we're finally getting to the point where we want to start utilizing the space. We're going to be shooting some cool stuff today that you'll be able to see, but we're really just starting to make it look pretty presentable and again, like our ideal closet downstairs in our little showroom. But we'll get into more throughout the day. introducing the Elwood Hotel and what we want to do with it. We moved in here almost a year ago now and we had like aspirations to do more and as you guys know we want to potentially have you guys come in and be able to shop vintage or core and just very like by appointment only specific people 10 appointments a week or something so we're kind of gearing up for that. <clears throat> On the other side of it we really wanted to use this downstairs space in the hotel as more of like a content creation spot for us. So we're working with my photographer Jessica and Darren filming this of like what we want potentially the Elwood Hotel page to be. And it's really gonna be things that like A, you would find if you came here in the Elwood Hotel and then B of like what inspires me to do what I do here and that what the team does here and be able to kind of just show you guys like what's part of our life. So kind of like the Elwood mood board within the hotel. That's kind of the vision, we'll see where it goes. Let us know what you guys think as we start posting photos. But we just wanna create buzz and we wanna be able to be creative outside of the box, not only posting on Elwood clothing of the styles coming out. We get you guys love that, but we also get that you guys want cool artsy creative side of it as well and we do have that it's just we can't really show it on Elwood clothing because it's a spot for us to kind of connect with you guys and sell you product where this is going to be connecting with you guys on a completely different level than just the product that we make yeah I want to get going on it and then hopefully two or three months we can start getting our first appointments in here and seeing what that's like I also think a cool part of like videoing what's going on now you know, just following us from like what this looks like today, where it could look like in three months from now, three years from now, we'll probably be in a bigger place. But yeah, it's it's cool and yeah, we're excited to kind of do it. Stay tuned for more. If you don't follow Elwood Hotel, start following it now. We're gonna start posting and doing all this stuff through there. Let us know what you think. Let's send them a couple like that pine green color or whatever we saw. Let's do this like a wash green, and that will round out the collection. I, I don't, I like this, but I would never wear it. But definitely keep them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna keep all these, because these are great just to have, and we'll just continuously send them shit and have them send it back on this or the French Terry. I'll call you in a little. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we got the curved hems. These are this is my this is my kind of staple right here. The curved hem, a little bit slimmer, tighter to the body. I'll be rocking these. I like the pocket. It's quality stuff. It's quality stuff in here. It is. I like your brown a lot, I, dude. I think it's the best brown on the market. Not fucking kidding. And it was so random how we ended up getting it done. We had damaged goods at the factory, so they were just dying dyeing up all of these certain colors that I had sent them. And the first round that came back was on a damaged good. So it like turned this color rather than like the actual Pantone. And then I was like, you guys got to figure out how to manipulate your colors to make it like not on a damaged good because it had all these stains all over it. So it was weird, but dude, this, yeah, it's sick. It's good. It really, yeah, it really is. This is where we had the last discussion. Anybody that comes into TikTok and is like, every one of the videos needs to be product focused, loses. It's a losing game because 
you're, you're playing, to, the goal of TikTok is to get on the For You page. It's to get on the global, seen by everybody, mass appeal For You page. That doesn't happen by you being like, check out our new drop of our joggers. Right. It just doesn't happen right. because mm. for that to happen, the person that's scrolling has to know who you are, has to be interested in your joggers. Has to, there's just a lot of like friction there for them to be able to watch that whole video. Rather than if it's just a very generic five new pairs of joggers for you to try out in fall, like that is like a very, like anybody that's into joggers can see that. Yeah. Anybody that's into clothes might stop and see that. So that's just like a, you're fishing with a wider net then. That's what you want to do. Yeah, you gotta try a pair of shorts on. It's a small if you truly think you're fucking small. Oh, these are dope too. This is a great color. That's brown and this is olive, just so you can see. Bro, I'm a small. Oh, I'm walking out of here with these. Dude, this is, I'm literally a fucking small. That's good to know. Which one is that? This is olive. Yeah, I'll rock those too. Okay. All right, yeah, bro. JT. Good, good to see you. you. Okay. More fittings every day. Ladies. Thinking about uh, the zip front hoodie. Yeah. Tony Wawa sent us this because they want us to do a long sleeve t-shirt in it, but it's the thermal. So they could just use this. Let me look into that because they didn't want to do it at first, but I did ask them to start pre-shrinking it to see if they can do it. Okay, and then also, they can just use core one fabric for, for the short, uh, for the, zip front. for the zip front, because we're gonna wanna wash it with the wash anyway, so just do it in our, yeah, core, right, core let one. Me look at what they say. Can you just send me a picture of that? Yeah, and then they sent this for new labels, and I'm gonna review them in a second. Why is there so much shit on this one? And then there's not on this. We garment wash everything and this sometimes gets screwed up during when we're garment washing because the fabric. So they want us to use just a woven fabric that won't get fucked up during the garment washing. And it'll help with like consistency of sizing and everything like that after it's done being garment washed but I'm very particular about little things like this, but this works. The second fit of the flannel today, not for print, but for like fit. And then this new t-shirt, uh, the cap sleeve t-shirt. It's a little like loose gauge jersey fabric. It's unbelievable. I think this might be a better seller than our core oversized tee, so. Be ready for this when it comes out. It's the most comfortable t-shirt you'll ever wear. And then a couple more core tees to hounding the pavement on getting the fit absolutely perfect. Yeah, it fits a lot better. Bigger, feels great too. Buttons are good. A little bit came up big. Yeah, a little Half bit. Inch. Okay. Just have, but they can bring back. Okay, yeah. we'll call that out. Yeah. And what about around here? Good? Good, good. Yeah? It looks good, yeah. Is there fuse in it? No. Here? They no. took it out? Yeah. Okay, out. so yeah. good. These are gonna be the best flannels. I'm buzzing. Yeah, Not for print, cool. though. But it is kind of cool in its own way. What are you calling out here? Okay, look, see, it's like kind of... It's like too much yeah, going too on. Yeah, too much, okay. yeah. What they need to do, see, they need to scoop it out a little bit in the top, see? Mm. Good. Good right? Yeah, really good. Uh, almost looks the same. And then our, I'm gonna wash this right now and see like what it looks like. Will it shrink? Okay. What happens with the collar and all that? This is a medium. This is medium. Yeah, this is what we want it to yeah, be like. Smaller medium, than yeah. the oversized tee, mm -hmm. more of like a normal fitting mm -hmm. t-shirt. Mm -hmm. I would wear large, but mm -hmm. this is steel. Even for medium, yeah. it has slight drop shoulder. Yeah. It's not like really basic classical t like yeah. basic t-shirt. Yeah. But this is this is good. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. This is it's our cap sleeve shirt at the moment. Huh, huh, yeah. it's just like a really nice loose gauge fabric. Uh -huh. It's so comfortable. Fits a little more narrow 
in a little cap sleeve, so it's a little different than our oversized tee. But you could wear this every single day with whatever. It's so fucking comfortable. What's up? Good morning. Back in the hotel. I want to go over some vintage tees that we'll be dropping tomorrow. You know we love doing this vintage stuff for you guys. Sometimes it comes in waves if we find some great stuff, then we'll put it on the site. If we don't find some great stuff, we won't. And that's kind of where lapses in time kind of happen with uh, dropping vintage. But we're really excited about what's dropping tomorrow. And I'll walk you through some of these styles. Some of them, some of these are my favorite ones. Preferably focused on t-shirts this time, just cause the weather and Carhartt jackets and pants would be kind of tough at this very moment. So we just went and tried to get the best vintage tees that we could find. But I'll walk you through some of these real fast. Starting with the beginning, just an overall great graphic. Then a little Boston, Massachusetts vibe. Kind of feels Miami Vice from the colors, but it's Boston, which is pretty cool. NASCAR, Jimmy Johnson, just super washed and old. George Strait, long sleeve Harley. Back hit is unbelievable. Arm hit is unbelievable as well. Kind of like the photos that we've been posting on Instagram. Here's another long sleeve Harley. It's Harley, it's kind of cool. It's got like a thicker rib around the neck, kind of like a mock neck. Um, great Harley graphic on the back. Another Harley, really good. And then obviously the distressed Harley crest on the back, that, that's, that's the real deal. A little bit of Kiss Aerosmith action when they had a, like a joint concert. Stevie Miller band, which was really cool. Love the back on this, rock and roll and tie dye or um, rainbow, love that. Another washed out Harley with a great graphic on the back. A little bootleg saloon pocket tee, pretty rad. And then just a Harley hoodie, good, easy. These are some of my favorites. There's a bunch more in there that you guys are gonna love. Those are probably my eight or nine favorites. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below what you'd like to see next time. And when we're out, Shopping, it's good to have like a list of what you guys potentially want. But yeah, if we have a list of what band, sport, cartoon, video game that you guys want to see, we can look for those as we're sifting around um, in the vintage bales. But yeah, other than that, tomorrow, 12 p.m. Pacific time, this will be live. You know how fast this vintage goes, especially because it's limited edition. So just be ready. This is the red hat. That's going to be dropping couple weeks but really stoked on the way the embroidery and everything came out more to come from that but other than that peace out and we will see you next week peace